fast paced or perfectly paced. The power to create some of the best split screen promo-esque edits is now yours for the taking. We'll be including several simple After Effects techniques to create incredibly detailed projects. So let's become the best and get started. Dramatic intros aside, I do like to have fun with these tutorials, so please don't take me too seriously. But perhaps you're making an end of the year highlight reel or just need a visually pleasing opener. This will be fun and easy to do. So start off by selecting any of the shape tools. But if you want to have a conventional look like me, just select the rounded rectangle as is the best. Then draw out several rectangles to fill up your composition. These shapes will be used to divide out where we want each of our screens to go in our final masterpiece. But most importantly, make sure you leave some gaps between each of the shapes and you can use the rectangle size parameter to perfect the layout. Uh, whatever you do, do not use the scale parameter if you want to have those beautiful rounded corners, which you may also increase with the roundness parameter to ensure that no one stubs their toe on that corner. All right, with the layout complete, we can now drop in some video, photos, or graphics onto a rectangle. Then select your imported media, go to track mat, and then set the mat to the shape layer that you want your video to lay on top of. You can also scale your footage and reposition it so it's optimized right there for the shape layer. Then you can repeat this process until you cover up all your shapes. And as you see, everything worked out in the end, but we still have some awesome techniques to implement if we want to have the best design. For example, perhaps we can make one of the shapes a primary color and not replace it with any video. And then we can use this leftover graphic in a few moments to hold some text if that floats well with you. But first, let's focus on animating all these elements in, and there's a lot of ways we could do that. For me, I'll simply grab the pan behind tool here at the top, select the shape layer, and then select that anchor point and slide it over to the side like this. You can hold control or command on your keyboard to snap it in like so. Then you can go to the scale, break the chain, and animate the X scale value from 0% to 100% and boom, the video will transition on with a simple slide. Then time lapse your way to repeating this step for your other elements. I would also select the keyframes, hit F9 to make them easy ease, and then use the graph editor to smooth out the animations by a touch. Then be sure to offset each shape layer in time so the screens don't you know, come in all at once. And this is perfect. The setup is complete and we've unlocked 50% of this new editing power. Next up, we'll tie all this together with some titles, graphics, and some creative ideas. But if you wanna bypass this and save time on all your projects, we have fully built 300 customizable promo slides like this tutorial that can be arranged in any order. For example, you can preview a promo slide that you want for your project, update it with your text and content, and easily integrate it with other promo slides. Be sure to get our new free template pack and view all 40,000 plus templates by checking the description below. All right, if we're gonna quit this out with some text, the photos and videos you might be using might make readability difficult. So try applying the curves effect to one of your video layers and just drop down the top point by a touch. Then apply the tint effect and set it to around 30-ish percent. And then of course, copy and paste these effects onto your other video layers. And now we're in position to easily type out some copy and add any text that you may have. I'm using the font Poppins, was Poppin, I guess. Uh, you can also consider adding some extra rectangles to place under some of your titles to create more contrast and separation. But always think about hierarchy. You know, your most important titles should always be the largest. Now, animating titles should be so easy because we already have so much going on here that you should hopefully wanna keep that simple. So for example, we can add a position to our title and then slide it over slightly like so. Then add an opacity, set it to 0%. And then all we need to do is animate the range selector start from zero to 100%. And you can do what you want the keyframes, but when you're ready, copy and paste the animator to the other text layers. And feel free to animate any of the boxes that you may have the same way that we animated in those shape layers. And now, even though the animation is the same for every title, it will be unnoticeable to the average viewer because like I said, we already have a lot going on here, but it looks really good. Now, because you know we are the best, what if we want to add in another graphic, you know, which could be a logo? Well, I'll use the ellipse tool to create a circle and then set the stroke to be the same color as my background, which we don't 
have yet so you can create a solid layer for your background and place that at the bottom of the stack then place in the circle graphic where it needs to go and the stroke will act as a gap then you may use a logo or draw out an arrow with the pen tool you know use whatever graphic you want and then i would parent your graphic to the circle and then animate the scale and rotation of the circle to pop in like this and feel free to add in any extra graphics as you want this statue here is just a stock asset that i thought was cool now we're basically done but what if you want to throw this in with other split screens that you have designed to create a larger promo well you can just create a rectangle to fill the entire composition and then animate the position of the shape to drop in just like this then you can set the blend mode to stencil alpha so when you pre-compose this and drop the composition on top of another design all your slides will easily transition together Subscribe to be the best and always be creating.